Now that you know what the MVC is all about, it is time for you to create your first empty ASP.NET Core MVC project. For that, you need to have the .NET Core 5 installed in your machine and also the Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. Throughout this course, I'll be using the .NET Core 5 because that is the current latest stable version. But when the other .NET versions are released, I'll update this course and the application as well. Now, to set up the development environment, you first need to go to the .NET.Microsoft.com, then slash download. And then from here, you need to install the current latest stable version of the .NET framework, and that is the .NET 5.0. In here, download and install the SDK64 and also the runtime. Then next, you need to install the Visual Studio. For that, you need to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com, then slash downloads. And then here you can use any of the Visual Studio 2019 editions, but I'll be using the Community Edition. You can use that version as well. Now, I'll just go to Visual Studio because I have already installed the SDK, the Runtime and Visual Studio and create an empty project. To create a new project in here, I'll just go to File, then New, and Project. From the search for templates, I'll search for MVC. So I'll just type in here MVC. And then in here, I'll select the ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. And that is basically the MVC. And also make sure that you select the C Sharp as the programming language because that is the programming language that we're going to use throughout this course. And then click Next. Now, throughout this course, we are going to build an e-commerce application that is used to buy online tickets for movies from different cinemas. So I'm just going to name this project e-tickets. And then I'll leave the same solution name and click Next. Now, from the Target Framework dropdown, I'll make sure that I select the .NET 5.0, which is the current latest stable version. But if you have already installed other .NET versions, You'll see them here on the drop down. And then the authentication type is going to be none because we are going to create our own authentication mechanism. I'll leave the configure for HTTPS checked. I'll not enable Docker. And then just click the create button. Now that the project is created, if you go to the solution explorer, you'll see that we already have some predefined code in here. And we are going to talk about that in the next part. Throughout this course, we are going to use a GitHub repository to manage the code. So for that, then I'll just publish this project to a new GitHub repository. For that, I'll just click in here to the add to source control, then Git. Then here you need to sign in and then you need to define a repository name. I'll name this repository complete dash e-commerce then dash ASP.NET dash MVC dash application. Then I'll just uncheck the private repository option because this is going to be a public repository and click the create and push button. Then you click the up arrow in here. Now, let us go to my GitHub account. So, in here, I'll just type at the end eTrupia. And then you go to the repositories. And this is the repository that we just created. And inside here, you have the eTickets project. And then inside this project, you have the default files that you could see in Visual Studio.